Hi, my name is Heidi. Welcome back. Um, today's focus for our show is going to be talking about water propagations. Um, water propagations are really my jam when it comes to plants. I just really enjoy being able to actually see what is happening. And I think there's something just like really lovely about, I don't know, clean roots growing in a vase. Like, oh, we're all knotted, but right? Like, I just think that's beautiful. I don't know. Um, so I'll show you kind of how I arrange some of my stuff and then also show you really what I do. Um, I've mentioned in other videos before that a lot of my propagations come from necessity, but sometimes I do them just to experiment. So for example, I had this beautiful syngonium um, in a pot I have it in the other room and I really like it. I just wanted more of it. Um, so this one I propagated by just dripping, you know, I cut, you can't even tell. But I put, um, cut below the node, right? We all know, cut below the node. And then just place it in the water. And this guy is totally happy. I set him on my window ledge right in my kitchen. So when I'm working in my kitchen sink, I can see how everything's doing. I know when water needs to be cleaned. Um, really, I don't clean the water very often just because, I don't know, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a teacher, I'm in grad school. Like, I just got a lot going on, okay? So um, I often just leave the roots in the water and then if they just really look nasty, like to the point where I'm embarrassed when a friend comes over and pours herself a glass of wine in my kitchen and looks over at my funky water, that's really the only time that I change it, to be totally honest. Um, so this is a good example of one who's totally happy. Um, I probably, man, look at this guy. I'm ready to cut him and start making more. I actually have a few of these going on in the kitchen right now. I like them in water. Very rarely with my water propagations, um, when they do so well, I hate to change it, right? I always say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So these seem to be doing well how they are, and I like the way they look. I might transfer her to a prettier vessel, but that can happen anytime. Um, so as long as we're talking about prettier vessels, I found this one. Let me see. Let me get her together for you. I found this one at the dollar store, or no, I'm sorry, it was Dollar General. So it wasn't a dollar, it was actually eight dollars. They also had it in gold, and I really like it. So I'm recording this right now during, um, we're currently in quarantine for the coronavirus. So I went to Dollar General because I was driving by and I saw a lady walking out with toilet paper. So I like, pulled a U-turn, got us in right away to get toilet paper. And so of course I had to walk out with this. I didn't really need it, but I like it. I know everyone's kind of into the face planters nowadays, and I'm just totally with them. So inside this pot, I, or inside this vessel, just to let you know, all that these are are simple um, cuttings from my tree outside. I have calusia hedges. My husband goes through and whacks them all the time, so I just like to keep those clippings and I just stick them in water to keep them green for as long as I can. These I don't expect to root. Um, I don't even know if they will, and even if they did, they wouldn't grow into anything that I'm really all that interested in working hard to keep. I do, however, have this Calusia plant in a variegated. It's a green and white variegation. I have a few bushes of them outside, still in nursery pots. They're about three feet tall. I might try to propagate them just because, I don't know, all the variegated everything, right? We all like that. But so in the meantime, this pot is kind of just going to be an ever evolving vase or vessel um, that's always just going to have something different in it. So right now it's got these Calusia leaves. Who knows? I might go chop something else up and tomorrow she'll be totally different. I'll keep them in here until they start looking bad, and then I'll take them out. Um, so there's one of those. Now I've talked about wanting to save the lives of plants that were hurting. So this one, which is another little face vessel, I got this one at Crate and Barrel. The price tag on the bottom says $12, but I think there was like a super sale going on. Um, okay, so these are croton leaves, and this is a special croton. So my husband, as I've mentioned, is into exotic plants. So this croton's a um, Kentucky White, I think it's called. There, the whole, if you're into crotons, you'll know there's like a whole another level of like croton talk where you think you're a plant dork and then you talk to a croton guy, then you're really talking to a dork. Um, just kidding, husband, I love you. So anyways, with these though, my husband, when we were in the yard, we were moving something around. It was my fault, it was something that I was really jacked about. And I was like, oh, move this here, we need to put this here. And he knocked into his, um, Croton here is Kentucky White and bumped off, broke off a branch and these leaves and so he was like, oh no, I heard it. So I'm going to take, 
So first we just got this stem and then I ripped off a couple leaves to give myself better room. I don't know, we'll see. I sliced it at an angle just because, I don't know, that's what I do. I didn't do any rooting hormone. Um, and then each of these leaves I'm also just gonna add to the water. I'm keeping them up so that they don't get soggy. I definitely don't want water to go above, you know, here on the root or on the leaf. Um, with these crotons, they definitely, with the leaves, they can, and, and some of them might produce little baby roots for me. I've heard you can grow a croton, you know, you can grow it back from these small propagations just from a leaf with a stem. I don't have much luck. Maybe other people have be had better luck. If you have, please tell me about it because, man, he's got some awesome crotons out there that a lot of people are really into and want to buy, but he loves them so he won't sell them. Um, so it'd be nice if we could maybe cut some off and make some more money. Um, so anyways, this is just another propagation that I have going on right now. We'll see how it goes. Um, these four that I have, I always kind of keep them on my dining table. Let me see if I can get you a view of this. I should add that arrowhead to the party too. So I just keep this tray going. Um, and so with these, I've just got... We got here Devil's Ivy, so Golden Pothos, just with her roots hanging. Again, I, I mentioned I don't really clean the water. You could see that now. You could tell I'm not lying. Um, but it's not bad, and the roots in there are happy and healthy, so I'm just going to let her be. I have this um, Lemon Lime going on, which again, super happy, and I just like the way it looks in that, right? Who doesn't like that? I have this Philodendron Brazil. Um, really, the philodendrons stay, they keep the water really clean. So like a lot of people um, are looking at making those, you know, like wall installations or those test tubes that you hang on your wall of, of propagations, which I love and I think are so great. But in the comments and the reviews of a lot of these, I see people, you know, complaining about their water gets so nasty and it's impossible to change and yada yada. Um, you just got to find the right plants that really stay clean. Like you can, t I've told you, I don't really change this water out. I could, I should, but I don't, and, and the plant's super happy, as you can tell, so here we go. Um, but so these philodendrons really like to keep their water clean, which I think is cool. Um, this just must be another devil's ivy that I have chilling, just in a different kind of glass. And I get the glasses just at yard sales. Um, I mentioned I live in Key West, and so a lot of really old bottles turn up. I don't know, I'm sure that happens everywhere, but for some reason here, maybe it's because of the ground that we have is really rocky. So it's easy to find things, whereas maybe if you lived in an environment that had clay or more soil, they might not turn up as much, but we have this rocky ground. So as soon as you see something different, it kind of catches your eyes. So um, that's something that I'm also really into. But so I think that this little tray of plants looks really nice. I did just add a house fertilizer to them. I've never fertilized my water plants ever before. We'll see how it goes. Sorry, I just got low battery. Let's see if we can make it. Um, I'm not sure. We're going to see. I noticed one of my leaves, I did just pull one off sneakily where you couldn't see me. There was a yellowing one, which I haven't had these yellow in forever. Maybe it has something to do with that. I'm not sure. It's an experiment. We'll see. All right. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know or if I'm wrong about anything because I'm just here to learn too. All right. Have a good one. Bye.